Yes, sir. Well, it's all the way from home. It's hot. And they finally did their shit. They finally did their shit after two movies that I hated. Y'all can see it on the channel if y'all want. But I did not like the first two. <laughs> I've been hating on those first two goddamn Spider-Man movies. But I would go through it again if we could get to this one. I'm not going to lie. I heard the rumors about Andrew Garfield and all of them. Tobey Maguire being in it. I'm like, even if they put them all in it. You still got to make it make sense, you know? I still had my doubts. I was like, after those first two movies, like, do I still really want to see this? But I'm like, I'm going to see this because they got too much shit in it to not see it. And they did their shit. They did their shit. Now, first, I want to say that I've been the main one bitching to have Daredevil in a Spider-Man movie. And they finally did that. I didn't. I don't care. I don't care if it was a very short, quick appearance. I never cared. I was just like, I want them to get a relationship because they have a relationship in the comics so i'm like i want this i want them to finally see and meet each other and we got that even for a quick minute that's all i wanted <laughs> that's all i wanted now i do hope later down the line if we get a daredevil movie spider-man makes his appearance in that movie that's all i needed i just wanted them on the screen and i got that i thought it wasn't gonna happen i thought it wasn't <laughs> I was like, it's never going to happen. I don't know why they keep doing this stupid shit and not putting them in, but they finally did it. And I don't care if it was that quick. And it looks like now we have the Netflix people in the MCU, or at least Daredevil. I think Punisher may come back, but that's a whole different story. Anyway, next thing I want to talk about is Green Goblin. And Green Goblin is amazing in this movie. Now, because Spider-Man has a lot of popular villains and stuff, a lot of people don't know that Green Goblin is the main villain. And they made him the main fucking villain. He's always been Spider-Man's main villain. That's why I wasn't really liking the amazing Spider-Man movies. That's why I wasn't really liking these movies. They're having all these random... He's the main villain. Mysterio was fine, but, you know, he's the main villain. <laughs> I've been trying to tell people that. People say Venom. Venom is popular. Venom's more popular. This dude is the main. Venom is Shadow. Venom is Vegeta. But, but... Green Goblin is Frieza and Green Goblin is Eggman. They are the main. That's the main villain. They're not like the arch nemesis, <laughs> you know, or the rival, I should say, the arch rival. But he's the main villain. What I also like is that like the villains, they actually had a purpose. They weren't just thrown in there like they had a purpose. Someone wanted to stay. Someone just wanted to get home. And the only villain that really got hold <laughs> was uh, the lizard. Like he really didn't get that much time at all. Like nothing that's the main one who he didn't get he really didn't get shit but i love what they did with green goblin again i gotta go back to that because i did not see this and i want to say spoilers on this um i'm gonna put it in the title but spoilers obviously um aunt may dying <laughs> aunt may fucking dying like i didn't see that fucking coming i i didn't see it i didn't see it i thought for sure everyone was gonna live in this movie and that's not the case there is some fucked up shit that happens to the Spider-Man. And this Spider-Man has had the happiest go lucky it seems life seems like life and not anymore. Like his world comes, you know, tumbling down in this movie. It starts out here like everything's, you know, crumbling down actually. He's with the identity and all that. People are after him. They're trying to figure out, you know, who, what Spider-Man's deal is. They're following him. They're trying to get him for damage and stuff like it's a lot of pressure. He's popular. He's known everywhere. So his whole world does not start off great like it does in all the other movies. Usually it's like good things are happening. Then a tiny little bad shit will happen. But nothing that really like causes me a level of concern. This is the first movie where I'm like, I feel for him. I feel for him. That was the problem with the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Like, I didn't really feel for him. <laughs> I didn't really care about him. And I will say like... They actually do Andrew Garfield better in this movie than in any of the other two movies. Like, he's a better Spider-Man in this movie. Like, I feel his pain, too, now because of the whole Gwen Stacy thing. Like, I felt that. And then when he caught MJ, I'm like, okay. It's like, you know, he's getting redemption. Like, he succeeded this time. Like, I feel that. And this Spider-Man, now he has emotion. It's always happy-go-lucky jokey. And no, it's not like that. I mean, it's a Marvel movie. You're going you're gonna to get jokes. And a Spider-Man movie at that. So you're going to get jokes. But this is a lot of emotional stuff with Aunt May dying. And then at the end, like, 
him he lost everything he legit loses everything and is alone at the end of this movie and that is what spider-man is that's always been the case for him he's not this happy-go-lucky hero he's happy in the sense that he wants to provide happiness for other people and be a beacon of hope and stuff but his life is not happy like that a lot of bad shit happens in the comics his uncle ben dies harry the whole gwen stacy thing that happens in this and we weren't getting that we were not getting that in these marvel movies it was just happy go lucky in this one we finally got that with his aunt dying and then him losing his best friend and mj so he lost his girl and he lost his friend and he lost his aunt all in one movie that's more drama than any of the other spider-man i'm going through <laughs> there's a lot more it wasn't all like that it didn't all happen consecutively like for the first you know trilogy with toby Maguire, he lost his uncle ben and then he lost harry in like the third movie but that wasn't like consecutively like it wasn't just a rapid turn of events first he had his identity getting blown and everyone blowing him up then his aunt dying then he has to <laughs> lose all memory of his friend his best friend and his girl so at the end he's just alone in a hotel and still fighting the fight to be spider-man i can feel that i can get behind that message and i wasn't getting that in the other movies <laughs> i wasn't getting none of this he's like yeah he would go through some shit some but it was never like damn how's he gonna you know how's he gonna manage how's he gonna get through the day like now i'm asking that because even then it was like rent's due at the first of the month it doesn't seem like everything's fine it still seems like he's gonna go through a struggle it seems like now we are getting the comic version of spider-man now it seems like all this was an origin story which i don't think was the plan <laughs> i don't think that was the plan originally but i'm glad we got here also about mj like they actually have a romance like you feel that when they're about to lose each other and just even when he loses aunt may and mj is comforting him or should i say michelle and thank god in this movie they actually call her michelle I don't even remember what her name was. I just knew it was MJ. I did not know if it was Mary Jane because I, I don't remember them ever saying it. Now, I'm probably wrong, but they kept using MJ so much. In this one, there was a lot of Michelle's thrown in there. So I was like, okay, that's what she is. Okay, that's fine. And I still don't like it, but I can live with it now, especially now what's happened. Because romantically, this Spider-Man could go anyway. We can go back to Gwen Stacy now. We can go back to and have a new MJ, the actual Mary Jane. <laughs> we can have Black Cat or we can even do Spider Gwen. And, and of course, the last option is he finds the other MJ back. But I'm good with her just going to live her life. And if that's the end for her, that's the end. I'm fine with that. And his best friend, because it seems like at the end he's going to leave them alone. But of course, they could change that. and He can come back to them. That would be crazy, too, if like Ned leaves the, the, you know, the I'm just gonna say it because he kind of is a little fat guy like if he becomes like the hobgoblin now and then they have a storyline with that because like the Sp spider-man would know that's his best friend but he wouldn't know and he somehow now went down this evil path because he didn't have someone in there so that would be you know a nice little twist if they did that i don't know if they will also at the end we do see tom hardy and um <laughs> if you like that venom if you like that Venom, you got to hold. I'm sorry. Because he literally just comes in at the end to, I think, give us a new Venom. Which I'm fine with. I'm good with. Because I didn't like the Venom movie anyway. As you guys know, I didn't like the Venom movie. I didn't even see Venom Let There Be Carnage. Because I'm just done with that. But <laughs> Oh, man. If you guys like those movies, you guys going to be pissed about that. Because that's all he does is leave a little alien thing. And I'm thinking this is going to be for the new Venom. And I am down for a new Venom. I, I do not want Tom Hardy, honestly, to be Venom. I think that's the great choice. Some people who like them Venom movies, like I said, they ain't gonna enjoy that. But me, psh, I'm good with it. They can have that on Sony and give me my new Venom. Then I'm hoping it's more of the comic book <laughs> Venom. I mean, I would hope we get Carnage, but I doubt. I doubt Marvel will do that. I seriously, seriously doubt it. So, yeah, I mean, I think I went through all I needed to say. Like this was great i mean of course there's Otto octavius some of the other villains that i could talk about more but they did their role and like i said green goblin being the main villain and not anyone else was right and he was just i gotta say he was just done really really well he's the best villain in the trilogy in the original trilogy and he's the best villain in this trilogy <laughs> easily the best william defoe is green goblin just the best
just just great performance just great great gg i liked how they had him in the little hoodie thing just thank you for fucking finally doing spider-man right <laughs> thank you that's all i gotta say thank you for finally doing right i got i think everything i needed from this movie um this might honestly be the best spider-man movie i've seen um yeah, might be the best one. Nostalgia bait, they can say, but it's like, if you do a good story with it, then it's fine. If you're just throwing them in there, then it's just going to be trash. They didn't just throw them in there like the final act or something. And then, you know, the Spider-Man, like they didn't do that. They actually helped him get through the trauma of losing his aunt, helped him find a cure, and then helped in the fight. They didn't just come in. Like that would have been just, okay, they're just throwing them in there just for them to be in there but they actually served the purpose of the story everyone served the purpose of the story it wasn't just thrown in so gotta say great movie and also one more thing tom holland was the main spider-man which it should have been like the other spider-man they didn't just take over his movie as well like they helped support this spider-man and it was clear that he was the main spider-man and he's gone through the most as spider-man because now he's going to continue it so he should be the main spider-man anyway they did their shit. Great fucking movie. You guys want to know, I, like I said, I did not like the other two. So, <laughs> I was coming in here with low expect, or not as high expectations. It was like mid, mid, because I heard you know, a lot of the news. So, I'm like, all right, I got to see it. Because I did not plan. Remember, after the second, I did not plan on seeing the next Spider-Man movie. I did not fucking plan on seeing it. I was like, I'm not seeing this shit. I'm like, unless they do a hell of shit, I'm not seeing it. Of course, they did hell of shit. They just kept saying all these people are going down. I'm like, all right, I'll go see this. But if this is trash, that's it. And thank God it was not trash. They did their shit. It's a great movie. Like I said, probably the best Spider-Man trilogy or Spider-Man movie. Not trilogy. Spider-Man movie. Because <laughs> uh, like first two, I uh, no. But like i said with those first two if we could get to this point in it i'd go through it again anyway that's it seat about peace <laughs>